Euratom, what's this issue all about? Now, you may have noticed in Theresa May's letter to Donald Tusk, triggering Article 50, that on the first page, bottom paragraph, Article 106 of the European Atomic Energy Community uh, was also triggered, meaning that we're leaving Euratom, um, a 60-year-old treaty which governs nuclear energy, safety, transportation, use in medical devices, nuclear research. And we've just left it and no one voted for that. So why? Now, first of all, you may have noticed that we went slightly mental about this um, a couple of months back um, when the Article 50 bill was released and it was put in the explanatory notes that we would also be leaving Euratom. And we had a huge issue with that because this is something that had been off the radar until that point. In that, we had heard rumours from some EU lawyers that, that this thing should be bound into leaving the EU, but there had been no legal judgment on it. No one had taken it particularly seriously. The government hadn't published any uh, papers or declarations on it. And two large inquiries, one from the House of Lords, which had over 70 submissions into it, um, hadn't covered the issue at all in its report. And similarly, the House of Commons inquiry into science in the EU after the referendum, which had over 200 submissions, also hadn't had this on the radar whatsoever. So this pretty much came out of the blue. And the irritating thing was, was the lack of risk assessment by the government in terms of what this meant before casually saying that we're going to leave this 60 year old treaty on nuclear safety. So let's go through why the government has chosen to do this, what the problems are, and then also what the solutions are from here. So the government has chosen to do this because in 1967, there was a merger treaty that brought together the um, EEC, um, Euratom and the uh, coal and steel community. And in the Euratom treaty, it was declared in Article 106 that the following articles from the EEC treaty will apply. And there's a list of articles, including Article 50. Now that could be interpreted as those rules that work over there, they'll work here too, in terms of, you know, same kind of rules for leaving or for staying. Or it could be interpreted as the one is bound with the other. Now, the reason you would interpret it all as the latter is because if you look at all the other articles, some of them are about participation in the European Parliament and things like that. So it was thought that, you know, for a clean solution, we'll just get out of there. So why is this a problem? Well, firstly, like I said before, there hasn't been any risk assessment. Secondly, no one that we have come across in the research, nuclear research or nuclear energy community actually wants to. Thirdly, if we're bound to two years to leave as per Article 50 style, then that might not give enough time either to become an associate member of Euratom or to make our own regulatory framework, which would then be approved by the International Atomic Energy Authority, that could take about four years. And so in which case you throw us into a whole load of uncertainty and there is nuclear research contracts which need to be updated in 2018. And uh, the CEO of um, uh, the Joint European Taurus on UK soil um, says that 50% of his time is now preoccupied with Brexit issues and trying to sort this out. So it is time consuming. It puts an uncertainty. Apparently there are staff leaving over this issue. So it's the lack of clarity about what the future path is, which is killer because the government hasn't laid it out. Now, what are solutions to this problem? It was attempted through the House of Lords, uh, thanks to Claire Moody, MEP and her team, to say, if it is the case that Article 50 is linked with Article 106. Let's have a slight delay in it. So we trigger Article 50 now, and that means that further down the line, we trigger Article 106, which means overall we can have four years in order to have a sensible transition. Did that go anywhere? 
No, because the government thought it had bigger fish to fry on, on other issues and this was all seen through a political uh, prism. So that didn't go anywhere and um, a small matter of nuclear safety falls through the cracks in the bigger issue of the, of the Brexit mess. So Article 106 has now been triggered, which sets the, the time ticking on this issue, which means that we need to solve it quickly, either by doing a Swiss style model to buy in or by um, developing our own regulations. Either way, as I can see now looking at the time, this issue is not straightforward to explain. It continues to be thorny. Um, it still is confusing for the nuclear industry itself. And it means that we could go for a period of time with unclear rules and that is already uh, hampering our capacity at the moment. So that's the best summary I can give you of Euratom at the moment and hopefully I'll be able to update it later with uh, something that um, is more clear and, and purposeful than just a spread of the issues.